Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Lever Guns 50. Look at what we're doing today. We're taking this 1892 Winchester, and I'll show you its takedown features. It is a takedown. And we're taking it with these little uh, 3220 cartridges. I don't think you can probably read that, but it's in 3220 caliber, and we're going to shoot it. I saw, I think it was yesterday, Buffalo uh, Outdoors had a uh, what was that that was a henry and he was shooting the 325 um i think that's a federal cartridge but anyhow he was shooting the 325s which are quite similar to these old 3220s and uh he was shooting water jokes at 100 yards and seeing how many it would penetrate i think it went through or i think it stopped in the fourth one or it went all the way through and just barely poked out uh but anyhow let's uh let's do this and compare and if you don't mind jump over to buffalo outdoors and i'll leave a link down below and uh, check out his channel he's got a really good channel This is a takedown, and to take it down, you merely pull this up, pop it all the way over, and uh, go ahead and get it broke loose. And then you're going to want to just kind of ease this around in circles right here. This is how they did a lot of them back in the day. And uh, some of these you could get it in two different calibers with just two different barrels on the same action. See, there's how it looks when it's taken apart. The threads are interrupted just like that. Makes it real easy to clean. And then you just stick it back together in reverse order. Pull that back around. You can go ahead and close this back up. I always like to let the hammer back down and uh, crank her back down. This is this gun was made uh, before 1930. It made about 1920. is good and tight got us a peep sight on there in this site we can just let that all the way down and just use that site but it's a good little gun I think it originally might have been color case hard and it's hard to tell after all these years but it's a very fun gun to shoot I think you can see the caliber on it right there maybe if we get it close enough but anyhow 32 WCF. See, this was uh, Winchester Centerfire, is what WCF stands for. And uh, 3220, even though it looks like a pistol cartridge, it was originally come out in 1882 for the 73 Winchester, and it came out for a rifle. Never come out for a pistol. And uh, later, Colt started uh, chambering their revolvers for that caliber. So let's get started, let's get to shooting and see how she does. All right, we're gonna to try to get a velocity reading off of this 92 Winchester and 3220 and see how fast these little boogers go. It's a 100 grain bullet out of this 1892 Winchester. It's doing 2,029 feet a second. Let's try another one. Two thousand forty-seven feet a second. 
Okay, 2047 feet a second. That should be about right. All right, let's see what we did. Well, we got this one's blowed up. The second one's blowed up. This one, it kind of went through here and come out the handle there. The fourth one, it went in here and come out here. And the fifth one's not damaged, so. I don't think we caught that bullet. We'll look around and see if we can't find it. I don't think it... Stopped in there. Doesn't look like it. Well, I heard something in there. Maybe it is. Yep. Went all the way through. Three of them went through the fourth one, but it did stop it. It didn't come all the way out. And there it is. So that's a very similar to the 327. Here's a closer look at the bullet. It uh it actually expanded out to uh 47 caliber. And uh this is this bullet over here. This is just a bullet my daughter shot her first eight point into that same gun, but it was just a plated bullet. I'm just doing that for comparison. This one here actually ended up only weighing uh, 50 grains, where this one here still weighs 70 grains, but this is a jacketed bullet. You can see that jacket on there pretty good. And uh, this this was just a plated bullet. Shot out of the same gun, about the same, about the same velocity too. But anyhow, this right here, uh, retaining a lot more, a lot more bullet weight would probably do a lot better in hunting. And also, having that jacket's going to control the expansion and help it expand good. So, anyhow, thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop by Buffalo Outdoors and check out his channel. And I'll see you next time.